Hey deer hunters, I'm JD Pyatt with Icotech Game Calls and today I'd like to talk a little bit about the advantages of using an electronic game call for calling whitetail deer. So as we all know, you know, when these deer are, are responding to calling, these bucks always approach that sound source with their nose into the wind. So if you're in your tree stand and you position that caller into the wind, I like to do a 45 degree angle, basically like I'm doing with my predators. You know, I'll set the call 45 degree angle into the wind, away from my position about 25, maybe 30 yards. That way, when that deer is approaching and he cuts, it basically puts him right in front of me for a, a good short bow shot. Our sound is out there away from us. Any deer that comes in there, what that's going to do is allow us that little bit more movement, you know, to get in position with our bow draw our bow or whether if we're gun hunting you know get the gun up when you're shooting rail or you're shooting sticks or you know however you brace your gun but that noise down there on the ground his attention focused on that noise will definitely allow you to get away with a little bit more movement so we all know when we're sitting in that tree stand and we've got rattling horns and grunt calls and all these different calls and stashed in our pockets or around our neck that when that buck commits to our calling and we're in that tree, they get within that close, you're basically locked down. You can't be moving. You can't rattle them rattling horns because he's going to see you. Game over. You can't, you know, yes, you can get to your grunt tube and get a grunt out. How natural is a grunt coming from 20 feet up in the air? You know, that buck, many times they just lock up and stand there and look and try and find that animal that they hear making those calls. During rut and when the deer responding to calls happens to be during a shotgun or rifle season and you can literally take this call if you want and put it a hundred yards up into the wind and still get communication between the remote control and the caller. So excellent volume. We got some sounds to put on the calls for you. So yeah, that's my take on using an electronic game call for whitetail bucks. You know, it just simplifies the whole system. You're not packing a set of rattling horns, a grunt tube, a bleak can, a snort wheeze tube. Um, whether they're hanging all over you or in different pockets, especially in the heat of the moment, you're trying to find which one it is that you're wanting and you're fumbling around. You've got so many pockets on you trying to find that call. Or your rattling antlers are hanging up on a limb or on a hook behind you and you're trying to get to them and that deer spots you or you're trying to get, you know, you've just went through a sequence all of a sudden, you know, they do, they come flying in sometimes pretty quick and they're on you like that. And here you are standing with a set of rattling horns and your bow's hung up on a hook. So you've got to get those horns hung up, your bow off the hook, hooked up and ready for a shot. This one little unit packs right into a backpack, put it out like I said. You know, you're in that situation, it's literally, the call is right at your thumb tip, you know, hanging right there. You can bump through the sounds, watch the animal's reaction, and do what is necessary to make the shot on that deer. I can't stress how... A caller can make your success rate for deer in the fall. One other nice thing about being able to carry a caller like this with you is you can actually, you know, you've got predator sounds on here too. And before you leave for the day, the deer wasn't moving that morning. It's 1030. You're ready to get down out of the stand, head home. Heck, why not bump through a, a couple prey sounds, whether it be rabbit distress or fawn distress or coyote pup distress and try and pull in a 
coyote or bobcat or whatever it may be that you feel is is killing your fawns in your area get one of them before you head to the house you know so these things can be a very vital tool in success when it comes to whitetail hunting and then predator control on your properties we do it all the time we'll carry one of these with us and before we leave we bumped through some coyote sounds last year we had a property that we had coyote problems on started carrying a crossbow with us thing my son he was running the camera for me while I'm deer hunting he's carrying the crossbow with him for if we happen to run in any more coyotes because three I think out of the prior coyotes that we had out of five um, the very first one I missed with my bow trying to shoot down through some limbs I flat out missed him the next two uh, or three actually we couldn't even get shots on because they were picking us off up in the tree so Thane thought well I'm gonna grab and carry the crossbow with us while I'm running the camera for you dad and, and it worked out we called in a coyote and he put a good shot on it with the crossbow and hey we didn't get a deer that day but we did kill one of them coyotes that was in there so you know anytime you're done deer hunting and you got the electronic call and it's got some predator sounds on it throw a few of them sounds out there and and hopefully a coyote comes in and you're shooting something for you going to the house so and then you're doing a good thing for the following seasons fawns